Hi there, my name is Ali Monroe. Welcome to this 3D development tutorial which will cover how to develop a photorealistic beer bottle from modeling to final render. In this series of lessons, we'll start by building the geometry of this model with the help of an image plane. Utilizing 3D Studio Max's modifiers, we'll be able to quickly create the silhouette of our model while still maintaining full control of the geometry's final look. From here, we'll dive into the material editor and explore some of the parameters available to us to help create our labels in a manner that can easily be shifted around the model. Next, we will create a studio light setup using an HDRI image and prep our model's geometry to allow itself to absorb the amber lighting effect. From here, we'll utilize 3D Studio Max's powerful particle flow system and create our condensation while keeping an easy control over its look and feel. Finally, we will prep our scene for creating multiple render passes and composite our final look in Adobe Photoshop. This lesson is aimed at developers who have some familiarity with 3D Studio Max, and while the tutorial does use 3D Studio Max as its development tool, all these principles can be carried over to another 3D software package like Maya, XSI, or Cinema 4D. This course will track your progress through each lesson, however, be mindful that skipping through these videos to earn a certificate is only hurting yourself. I also recommend following along with this tutorial, however, try creating a different kind of product such as wine or a different type of beer. Okay, so there's a lot for us to talk about, so let's get started in the next lesson.